lesson, we're going to look at um, one of our problem-solving strategies. And this problem-solving strategy is making a list to help us solve a word problem. And using a list is a great way to keep all of our information organized to help us figure out what our answer is. So this problem is a great example of when we can use the make-a-list problem-solving strategy to help us figure out a problem. So in this problem, it says there will be five teams playing in the Pine Cone Regional Softball Tournament, and each team is scheduled to play every other team once, and we want to figure out how many total games are going to be scheduled for the tournament. Now, if you want to do, we can try to pair all these and just kind of write everything down, but a list is going to help us keep them all organized. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set up my list. And there's five teams, and I'm going to call these Team A, Team B, oops, that a little bit, Team B, Team C, B, and Team E. And so now let's start with Team A. Team A needs to play all four of those other teams. So underneath here, I'm going to write all the games that they're going to play. Team A versus Team B. Team A versus Team C. Team A versus Team D. And Team A versus Team E. That's all the games that Team A is going to be playing in. So now let's go on to Team B. And Team B needs to play every team. But remember, from our first list, we can see that Team B has already scheduled a team to play Team A, so we don't have to include that one in Team C list, or that would be like counting that game twice. So we can have Team B, and if they've already played Team A, Team B can't play itself. So now they can play Team B, Team B can play Team B, and they can play Team E. So that's all the games that Team B will be able to play that hasn't been accounted for yet. So let's go on to Team C. And Team C needs to play every team once. And here we see that they're already playing Team A over here. Here they're playing Team B. They're not going to play themselves. Here is they can play against Team D. And they can play against Team E. You may notice some what of a pattern or organization process in our list here. You can see we're losing one each time, so that might give you a hint as to how many we'll have in this next list. But we are going to have Team B, and they need to play every team once. Here we can see they're playing Team A. Here they're playing Team B. Here they're playing Team C. They're not going to play themselves. And there's Team E. So there we've got them all accounted for for Team B. And now for Team E, we can see that we've already actually gotten them all taken care of. Here they're playing Team A, Team B, Team C, and Team D. So we don't have any more that we need to include in that list. So now all we need to do is add up all those games to figure out the total number of games for the tournament. So here we have 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus one, and nothing's in that last one. So four plus three will give us seven. Seven plus two is nine. Nine plus one equals 10. So there are going to be 10 total games in this tournament. So as you can see, making a list or making an organized list is a great problem solving strategy if you have a lot of information and you need to get it all organized.